Hey guys. So <laughs> I'm insanely nervous. I've been collecting for a while now. Pops are obviously a part of life in my house. Um, and all kinds of collectibles, honestly. Pokemon and anime, all the things. Um, but yeah, I have thought about YouTube for a while and honestly just scared because I am not tech savvy. So please bear with me if anybody has tips. Like, I don't even know how to do the opening pictures people do that are cool. Um, I plan to learn if I honestly even get enough people watching me that I feel like it really matters. Um, which sounds really negative, but anyway, I don't know. This is kind of an experiment because I would love to share in the collector community more than I am now. Um, I recently got into Instagram and I'm loving it. I have so much fun seeing what everybody's posting in the Funko community, honestly, and all the nerdy stuff, uh, really starting to, um, do more into the hashtag support a nerd. Um, I love it. So I'm going to slowly be supporting people as much as I can. I appreciate any of the support I've already received. I've had people so kind to me so far. Um, anyway, this is kind of, I'm, I don't know, I'm just super excited today. So I figured a video would be worthy the things I've gotten in today um, because I kind of went out of my comfort zone. Um, I ordered my first mystery box ever. <laughs> I usually only buy stuff that I know I'm gonna like. Um, so like if I have a pop on a wish list, or on, honestly even if I go get Pokemon cards or booster boxes or whatever, um, whether that be online or like out in the wild, <laughs> I always just get what I know I want, but I love seeing all the unboxings through YouTube. Um, I know people that buy the mystery boxes. I know people that sell, I sell them as well. And I was like, why am I not supporting this as well for the businesses that do what I do and what I love? Um, so this is part of my support of the community, um, kind of giving back financially to other businesses that this is solely what they do instead of all the big business, honestly. So anyway, um, I ordered something really cool from Weird Flex. So thank you so much, Weird Flex, for being so kind so supportive liked my instagram almost immediately very kind and easy to talk with um, about ordering what i got from you um but anyway so i'm going to re reveal that in a minute and um, i'll also have some pictures up on my instagram later to get some like better cooler shots of these things um because again i'm not tech savvy so i don't even know how well this is going to translate to youtube so again please support me and help me in all of my noobness um, because I know that I can grow in this. If again, this is something that um, y'all think is a good form for me. Um, anyway, I'm just kind of trying it on. So I have that. And then I also, like I said, ordered my first mystery box and I got it from Spastic Collectibles. Very excited about that. Um, the reason I ordered that one and I'll start with that one and actually I'm gonna end with Weird Flex because I just think it's really cool. Um, the Spastic Collectible box was the uh, murder mystery box with the bloody Hannibal as a potential. Um, I am obsessed with that show. Um, just watched all the seasons. Uh, love it. I've always liked the Sons of the Lambs, Hannibal stuff. And honestly, that series blew me away. It's on Netflix right now. Watch it <laughs> if you're into that stuff. But Oh my god, that is very much a personal grail for me. Um, I don't win anything, so I highly doubt I got it. But I figure at bare minimum, even if I get stuff I'm not necessarily hoping for or even want in my collection, I know I can divvy that up into some mystery boxes or even sell or trade to other collectors in the community. And if it's something that you want, definitely reach out to me. Um, I will have my Instagram tag written down below. Um, so hit me up <laughs> if these are things that maybe I don't want to keep for my collection. I would love to share. So I already opened the tape on the top of the box because, um, honestly, I assumed I would, uh, probably fumble that up because <laughs> I'm nervous. So I didn't want to spend like 10 years with tape. So anyway, tape is released. So I guess let's just do this. Let's see what I got. So again, first video. So if I kind of fumble around or do anything dumb, um, just, uh, you know, show a little grace. It's cool, whatever. All right. <laughs> so 
then bubble wrap to start. So I'm gonna kind of review my feelings on this because like I said, I buy and sell. So I guess I have my own opinions and they may be different from y'all's. And if so, tell me what you think. Like, I love talking about this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna review it based on like my experience and my preferences, I guess. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there, okay? So first thing I notice opening and just kind of generally looking at because I don't want to like look, look, and just like, I don't know, run the surprise, I guess. But I see that very thin bubble wrap, which I know that's such a minimal thing to pick on, but I know when I ship out boxes, I like having very thick bubble wrap because I don't trust shipment. Um, like this box already I see has like a little bit of damage. It's nothing crazy, but I know if you just use like packing paper or thin bubble wrap, you really run into the possibility of people getting um, basically some messed up boxes. And as someone that also collects, loves them, and buys, it's so disappointing when you have a pop you've wanted so bad and it's messed up. Like, really poor grade box. So, just saying, like, that immediately is a little concerning as far as if there might be damage because, like, there's not a whole lot of wiggle room. And I'll pull it all out after the boxes so you can, I guess, maybe see it. I don't know. Maybe that's too much, but anyway, hold on. A little bit of tape. Oh, maybe I should do this so like y'all are kind of experiencing this with me. Okay. Oh, and there was a possible, I think it was like three to four boxes was like the um, max on this box. It was supposed to be a $59.99 guaranteed value. And of course you paid shipping on that. So at minimum, you're supposed to get your $60. And then from there, I think it could go up to, I don't even know. So not even going to lie to y'all. I'm not sure, but I know I should have those. And I think the lowest box grade should be like a 7.5 up to a mint box, which I don't really know what's normal for Spastic because honestly, I haven't ordered from them ever. I've ordered through other companies. So this is a first experience. So I don't know how good their boxes are normally, if that makes sense. So learning here. Anyway. Let's see. Okay. One of these feels kind of, I think I have a two pack in here. So let's just grab the first one closest. That's not a two pack. And let's start with there. Cause I'm hoping a two pack is maybe an awesome one. I don't remember everything that was in there. Like I said, the only one that I was like, oh my God, I'm buying this was the Hannibal. So I have no clue what my possible options are. Um, but let's see. So try to hide this from all of us. That feels like a front. <laughs> okay. The first one is whoops, Ursula. Dang, there's so much glare right there. Very cool. Okay. Honestly, the only one in this line I really wanted was Flounder, which is super girly of me, but I think he's adorable. And I grew up in the time of that movie. So definitely was down with that one and I think I would definitely buy the Ariel pops like specifically Ariel because I love her I mean if you've noticed my Instagram I very much took an Ariel picture um with flounder so yeah definitely into that I don't think I ever um personally was after this one um and you can see some of the other options in this one I know I wanted the diamond edition Ariel with the purple dress, but really I'd be happy with any of those. So I don't know that this is one that I will keep, um, but still a cool pop. Um, part of my issues immediately are definitely box condition. Um, I know they said the lowest was 7.5 and honestly, I figured this is probably at the lowest end um, and I'll kind of make a close up in a minute, but I see some I don't know, like a smudginess at the top of the box. Definitely a lot of kind of scratches on the front plastic. And then the diamond collection sticker is also a little peeled up. Um, so a little disappointing on that. And the smudginess at the top is just kind of dirty, which I know sometimes can happen with like dirty bubble wrapping and how people package. So I don't know, maybe that's a packaging issue. But again, they said it could be down to 7.5, so I guess they're not really not doing what they should on that one, but it's still a little frustrating, but that's okay. So, I don't know if y'all can kind of see that, the little smudginess. 
I don't know if the scratches will come up, but you can probably see the sticker damage there. So either way, cool pop, not when I had in my collection, but like I said, this will probably, you know, be a mystery box or make people aware when I communicate with them or message them about the box condition, but it would probably be a mystery box if I don't have someone trying to trade with me um, or even just buyer. So, but I'm happy with her being here for now. Okay, next pop. Let's see. I can't sing, by the way, so I don't... Anyway, bear with me. Okay, so next single. Let's find the front. Is this upside down? I don't know. It may be upside down. So next one. Ooh, not upside down. Nice. Pillsbury Doughboy Limited Edition. Okay, another one that... I would have basically not on my wish list, but not a bad pop. You know, it's a cool icon. I'm familiar. I remember all the little, you know, cute Pocus Belly commercials and all that stuff. This box is pretty minty fresh. So I also cannot in any way be upset with that. So that is nice. Um, I really, if I remember, do not think this is a high value. Um, I think it's probably either right at what it sold for, or maybe a little bit more from original, but it isn't at Icon. Um, I haven't really, that's not a personal line that I've been collecting, but anyway, not a bad one. This will probably be another one that I would trade or uh, sell or even put into a different mystery box than that one. I would definitely divide those up if I did that, um, but not a bad pop. And again, the condition is really nice, so I am not going to complain. Okay, so nothing major so far. I feel like even the Diamond Edition Ursula is a pretty normal, almost what I would consider a little more common in a way. So like definitely no big hits at this point, but we have a two pack. So let's see what it is. Now I do have to say instantly, if I sound less excited as this goes on, I immediately know since all I have is a two pack, for sure to not get my Hannibal, but whatever, still on my wish list, personal grail, and I don't have to get them here today. So uh, if they have them in another box, I'll probably be looking for him. I don't know that I've even seen him listed much. So if you come across him, uh, hit a girl up, okay? Please. <laughs> okay, so last one. Push the box aside. I think this is the bottom. Okay, let's see what I got. Whoops. Oh, cool. It's so glary. Oh my God. Maybe I can make that a little better. Again, I'm so not used to doing this. FYE exclusive flocked angry beavers. Um, I kind of remember this show from a million years ago. Like, I don't think I ever super got into it. I do remember when it came out. So like, this is definitely nostalgic. They're flocked, which I'm sorry, flocked are way cooler than like, say all the chrome lines. Like I'm so over chrome at this point, but I think the flocked is still cool, especially when appropriately used, like with a furry animal. Heck yes, make them flocked. That's adorable. Why not add a factor there? So it is an exclusive. I'm not 100% on value on this one, but I feel like the fact I'm not that familiar potentially means this isn't a huge hit, but I will definitely look those up in just a second. So, or have somebody else look them up. <laughs> I don't have to, and I'll save a little bit of time here. Otherwise, we're going to be talking for 12 years. But anyway, so they, like I said, I think it's cool. They're flocked. Same as Ursula. There's a little bit of scratching, but let's see. When did this one even come out? Was that 2017, if I'm reading these right? So it's a few years old, and I mean, like, a little bit of wear is pretty normal, especially if it wasn't stored in a protector. There's a slight crease up top. I don't know if I can catch that or not. Nothing bad at all, like I said, slight scratching, but they're looking pretty fresh. That's a pretty good condition box. I think uh, definitely these last two that I pulled out are looking pretty good. So really not really complaining on this one either. Um, like I said, they're super cute. Um, I don't know, I might keep this one. This could also end up being a mystery box. I don't know, sell, trade. If anyone's super interested or even needs this for a part of their collections, um, let me know. Cause I know just like myself, we all kind of have like our like personal grails and things, regardless of how much they are. 
um, that we just love and it's a part of something very nostalgic and I definitely have many that just have nostalgia value for me and I love so anyway not like I guess I was a little disappointed with the, some of the damage but again they said they I guess worst boxes would be like a 7.5 and I feel like that's true I don't have anything crazy nothing's like totally crushed um, I feel like Ursula looks like it was maybe packaged badly at one point or maybe some dirty bubble wrap um ooh, and uh, sticker uh, what's up anyway so I'll have to get this put somewhere too I haven't decided where to put my stickers yet definitely need to figure that out maybe the table ooh. anyway um yeah there's really not a lot of protection in these boxes it's like super thin bubble wrap so they were really like really close to the edge which whatever it's fine but I don't know I just feel like that's like setting people up potentially to have more damage to their pops and shipping and shipping if I can talk but whatever you know obviously I feel like it's not a big enough problem that they're not correcting it kind of a thing but if I had any type of like critique for it that would be like my biggest one is making sure there's some I don't know, added factors. So value, and I have had it checked on. So two seconds, let me see. Okay. Ursula, $21, which honestly, a little more than I expected. I figured it'd be more like 15 or something. I don't know why, maybe I'm not giving her enough credit. But anyway, she is 21, so. And this was a $59.99 valued box. Okay, next. I'll just leave her here. She can chill with me. Pillsbury Doughboy. $14. So kind of what I expected. I figure he'd be around original listed price because even though he's well known, he's cool, he's nostalgic, I feel like he's just not like one of those super big icons. So didn't really expect a whole lot of that one. So not bad. So 21 and 14 so far. And ooh, last but not least, our Angry Beavers. Um, it looks like I definitely, I really didn't even hit value. This was only $21. Um, like I said, it's still a cool one, like not complaining. Um, but this was my first box ever from them. So I don't know. I really had some high, high, high hopes, which is my own fault, you know. Um, but it looks like I came at like, uh, let's see math it's hard okay so i think this was about 56 total if i can math um y'all can totally check me on that correct me whatever or i'll think later when i'm not filming myself and be like you're an idiot but i think it's about 56 dollars. so i actually came a little about four dollars under value but the only problem i have kind of with that um which could be my own last i guess critique on spastic is that since it's a guaranteed value box, when I sell mystery boxes, I factor in damage. So if I had, say, a box that was like a seven, normally I try not to even have that much damage. I think the most I'd sell is like a box with maybe like an eight. And I'm usually pretty generous on those where I'll rate it less than it probably actually is, just in case I have a more particular person buying. Um, but I will never list them at full PPG value because I feel like since they're damaged, it's not right to sell them at full value because for me, that means a mint box. So like nines or tens really. Um, so having Ursula that I feel is probably less than that, I feel like coming out at the 56 again, if I can math, really wouldn't actually be $4 under value. I feel like it would actually have been less than that. Um, but I feel like that's kind of up in the air based on how they want to take that away and I think people do that differently so I feel like the reality is I probably lost more than four dollars on this box just from the damage of Ursula and even the damage on the angry beavers with like the front which I know you probably can't see well on here but it's pretty scratched up looking there you know it's not terrible um, like the actual cardboard looks really good the color looks good I don't see anything crazy but even that one, I would take a hair off the value, if that makes sense. So I don't know exactly what I lost on this box, but we'll just say like maybe $10, which isn't that exciting. Um, so uh, did I get my guaranteed value? 
I say no, you may disagree with me. And if so, God made me feel better. Um, but again, I think since Hannibal was in any of these boxes, I was going to be a little bummed out regardless, but I'm trying to be fair about it. Um, so again, let me know what you think now. Drum roll. Now my weird flex. Okay. So first off, I actually already opened the box because I knew what I was getting. Didn't care to keep it secret, whatever. This one though, I want to express my excitement. So Weird Flex, if you watch this, know I was so excited. I straight up manhandled this box, like ripped it open with my bare hands kind of a thing. Didn't cut tape, didn't even care. Legit, just like hulked this thing. So a little excited. Anyway, I hope that's a compliment. But side note, if you have not bought from Weird Flex, like you should just for like the stickers. I mean, obviously support a collector, like given to the community to keep us going and strong, but like he has the coolest stickers. Of course, he's got his Funko Collector Society one, which, oh my God, this thing is cool. Okay. And then ooh, his other one. Oh my God, with his little pop box in hand. These are so cool, so cute, and like really well made. Like I just, I've got new stickers coming in the 21st of this month and I'm so excited about them, but I know, oh my God, I don't have anything this cool. So if y'all buy a box from me after the 21st, you'll get one of my personalized last Ketchum stickers. Um, side note, shout out to all my Pokemon nerdy friends, uh, which is obviously the last Ketchum thing. Um, but anyway, I hope that, you know, one day I can figure out something that's cool. We'll see. Anyway, love those. Obviously, like I said, I got to get my stickers going, but da, 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 da. anyway, what I ordered from him. So he started making his own like designer kind of toys, figures. I'm an artist. Um, I have an art degree. I love art so much. So not even just the toy side of this. I love that he's doing something artistic and jumped at the opportunity to support this. Um, well, anyway, he made these new molds, which you have, if you haven't seen his molds, please check them out. Very cool. Get on his Instagram, check out YouTube, wherever you want, just look it up. Okay. I know he's got several up. He even has some more for sale. I actually got one of his error figures. Now, the reason I got the error one is because when it glows, I can't explain it, but the way the bottom looks, like I thought looked so freaking cool. So I'm actually going to post those later on my Instagram so you see the glow. Um, and I'll be tagging him on there as well. But I'm going to do that later on my Instagram. So hit me up on there. Check it out later tonight. I'll get that posted probably soon, honestly. Um, but anyway, I want to show you the figures he's making. I love it. It's original. It's neat. And like I said, I just love that he's making art. So these actually glow in the dark. They are way cool. Like I said, I will post a picture later. Um, but like I said, I got one of his errors. Um, I just think it's so cool. You ready? Uh, oh my God, look at this little guy. Oh my gosh, like, I hope it zooms in. Come on, camera. Oh my God, he is so cute. So cool. But like I said, he's an error because it was actually meant to fill all the way to the bottom but I don't even care. I love the glow. It's almost like, I don't even know. It just adds another something to it. I don't even know the right word right now, but like I said, I'm going to get that on my Instagram later. I'm going to take some better shots of all of these, my pops, this figure, but head up weird flex. I mean, totally support a collector, support a nerd, you know, get in there, like support our community. Um, but I love this. So I was really excited and just wanted to share with y'all. And if you haven't got one, do it. <laughs> if you're definitely into collecting more things than just pops, um, because you can, that's part of the fun of being a collector. We can get whatever makes us happy. Find your joy, find your fun space and go with it. Like no judgment. This is, I don't know, a place to be like a child as an adult. Life is hard, life is stressful. Let's have fun together. Let's collect together and let's share our experiences. So anyway, thank y'all so much for tolerating my rambling. I talk a lot. Um, I mean, anyway, I just like to talk. So hopefully that all made sense. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you do, please give me feedback, give me a like, you know, subscribe. I plan to do this more, especially if people actually like the video. And if you have any, any tips 
please let me know because like I said not tech savvy and like I need all the help I can get I will work and will learn especially if I get enough support to keep doing this but anyway guys I hope y'all have a great day thank you so much for checking out my video and I'll catch you later <laughs> bye